So here, right in front of the machine, uh, we have our tool cart. Um, Sean, our demo technician, who will be uh, showing us the demo today on this machine, um, he he likes it very organized, which is a good thing. Um, on the tool cart, we have uh, basically rows and lines. So each row um, represents uh, a different head on the machine. Each uh, each row this way uh, represents a different profile. So on the very bottom here, we have our right cutter heads, we have our left cutter heads, and then we have our top cutter heads. So when Sean is doing a changeover, all he really needs to know is which row he's working on and he's just grabbing the row, the heads from that specific row. All right, so as we can hear in the background, um, Sean just turned on the dust collector. Um, so what he's gonna do is uh, he's, he's basically gonna fire up the machine, run the profile through the machine and then start with the first changeover. Hey guys, this is Sean. Uh, Sean is our demo technician. Hey folks. Hey. We're going to run some products for you today and a lot of times we all know that there's some difficult profiles out there sometimes to run and what I want to show you is the very first product we're going to run is just a typical casing. Pretty easy setup. The next is going to be something a lot of guys have difficulty with is getting this blend on this radius. So that will be the next profile we run in line. And then of course the TNG with the center V on it. Um, there's some different ways that we can set up the PC to actually monitor and give us different widths within the same profile without having to shut the machine off necessarily. So each, going from one to each of those, we're looking at a three head cutter change each. So we're just going to kind of smoke through those. the machine he's moving the machine now into two change positions what that will allow us it will give the operator more room to put his hands in the machine and make the physical change over off the cutter head to find the profile first he's selecting the next profile once the profile is selected he's going to move the machine over uh, to the two change position so at this point if you can see the numbers on the counters are moving. The machine is opening up to give the operator a little better uh, area to get his hands in there and pull those tools out without bumping them into parts of the hoods and things like that. So as soon as this box for the operator goes from yellow, which it just did, that means we're in the, ready to do the change. We simply open the hood, have the secondary lockout tag out switch up here for safety. Now I can begin the changeover. You can see on the screen, Chris, if you'll have a look here, there are yellow boxes. Those yellow boxes are telling the operator which tools have to be changed. Once I press the button, like Michael talked about, and release that tool, it's automatically going to show up down here the next tool that needs to be put into place. And you'll see that as I move along. So right now, Sean is moving everything out of the way uh, to give him himself more room to make the changeover. He's starting from the very back, so he's starting with the second top hand. He's opening up the very hood right now to give himself more room to take the tool out. He already released the tool on top. The power from the screen right now is telling us uh, which, head, which head he has to select. Once the head is back in place, he's pushing the button to clamp the tool. 
uh, our problem is sending all the information about the tool data to the counters on the very hood. He's, what he's doing now with the crank with the crank handle, he's simply matching the number that will bring everything in position. Quick spin on the cutter hat just to make sure we're good. doing now he finished the changeover now the next step is to put the machine in working position once the machine is full CNC controlled it knows exactly where to go all he has to do is to hit the start positioning button and everything is uh, moving into position automatically also a very nice feature of that machine what we just saw if there is an axial an axial adjustment of a spindle the machine knows that, and if it's a, if the adjustment is above a certain threshold, it's going to automatically start the spindle to uh, give it some rotation, and it will adjust the axle while the motor is running in order uh, to adjust the belt that's, uh, that's driving or that's connecting the motor and the spindle. Okay, so once this box goes from yellow to just a natural color of the screen, that's telling me I'm ready to run this product.
again, Sean can stop the machine, select the next profile. Once the profile is selected, going to two change position, push the button, the machine's gonna open up, and you can make the next change over. On this next changeover, once the machine goes into working position, uh, first of all, the EM11 hopper feeder that we have on here is a, a servo control feeder, uh, which means it's going to adjust the width automatically according to the profile width. Now, what we're also going to see during this changeover is uh, because this profile is a little bit wider, uh, there is a pressure element uh, opposite the left spindle. Uh, which you see on top there uh, with the digital counter. This is also going to automatically adjust uh, outward basically in order to ap apply pressure to what the glider profile. Shading over the last pad right now. So in this case, I'm going to leave the hood open. There are some safety features that's involved with the machine. It's going to tell us normally we've got to close this hood in order for the machine to move. It's a safety feature. But uh, we can override that by being out of harm's way and actually just hold the button in over there as a temporary. So with that being said, I'm going to have Christian come in and have a look inside of here as it's closing up. Because we have a nice little feature over here with an adjustable roller looks at the information off of the tool itself to uh, set itself. Another thing that should pop up here is as soon as I tell it to go to position, okay, I turn the key, I tell it I want it to start, okay, it's going to tell me to close the hood because that's its natural state. Because again, like Michael had discussed earlier, it's looking for a bigger adjustment in your axial value, wherever it may be we would see that motor start and make its own adjustment, but it has to recognize that the, the hood is closed. Okay, so we hit start. And now what we see here is something where Michael was talking about earlier. We don't have to have a seasoned expert to be able to do this in years and years of experience. But if we do have that guy that knows how to set the machine up and he can look for this being difficult or that being difficult, he can simply make notes in here for our, our daily operators or our second shift people, whatever the case may be. So in this instance, it's telling me to add some feed rollers on because we are running a wider width. 
And what this does is pops up before the operator can actually send the machine into position. Then you'll see me come back over. I have to acknowledge a certain parameter on the screen. Then I can continue the actual setup of the machine. There's a different type of ruler, it's a different design, but it can only put on one way. We can't have the operator putting the wheels on the wrong way and possibly trying to feed the product off the machine guide pin. Okay, so once that's done, again, I'm going to leave this hood open. sets it up to being just a quarter of an inch off of the tip of the knife. And of course, here it's telling us we are ready to run. Yes, I was blabbing a little bit during those time periods, but just to show you, we don't have to be in a race to be efficient. That's right, guys. <clears throat> guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to, uh, to reach out to, uh, to your local representative or to us here directly at Weinig. Well, guys, we're here for you. We want to make you more profitable and uh, help you out as much as we can. Thank you so much for joining in today. Appreciate your time. <laughs>